heading off to explore this city. I'm probably gonna get robbed here. <laughs> Check this out, so authentic. Lads are making them on this very weird looking head. So this is just sheep's head and they're cooked with fur and with everything. Where do you get the pigeons? Lots dropping? of young boys, they got lots of pigeons in the terrace, they got lots of cage of pigeons. So the ah, pigeon drop in. It's a sunset, it's kind of very, very beautiful, like an amazing place. Only 17 days ago, I came up with the boldest idea in my life to cycle around Africa on a bicycle. Next day, I snuck out of mobilized Russia and headed to Spain, where two years ago I've purchased an old second-hand city bicycle for only 20 euro. It took me another day to gather a few accessories and get a solar panel to start my extremely adventurous and completely unprepared journey around the most exciting, vivid and dangerous continent on Earth, Africa. Hi there, my name is Tim, myself and my wife Elena on a lifelong pursuit of wonders. You know that feeling of excitement that fades away as we get older? Well, I invite you to join me on this epic journey through some of the most remote parts of the world, where together we try to reignite that sense of wonder and adventure in our lives. Hey lads, good morning. My first day in Fes today. My hotel is just uh, on the streets down there, like, so I'm heading off to explore this city. This part is kind of not very interesting, interesting, because it has uh, like general stuff like the leather bits and pieces and uh, shoes and like different garments, just yeah general bits and pieces. So and I will actually keep going down, and the down below is the most interesting part is the food. Let's check out. From Main Street, I turned and I'm this tunnel. Like really tiny tunnel, which is just going, I don't know where, it just goes somewhere. So I'm probably gonna get robbed here. <laughs> here we go, this is kind of restaurant. Down there is just the food. And uh, yeah, this is city, this is park. Amazing, absolutely stunning. And like, check this out. <laughs> That's I'm in some kind of super civilized zone. Uh, this part is very, very fancy. And it has a roof. Check this out. And uh, uh, they do sell more like a uh, kind of expensive stuff. As they expect expensive gourmets, uh, clothes, and yeah, this is more like a shopping center. Cool. Small piece. Very small. It's Caesar. Caesar? Caesar. One share, It's for YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. Blog. Yeah. More tourists. Welcome. More tourists. <laughs> to your beautiful city. <laughs> but the streets here are very good. Amazing, amazing. Absolutely. Very good, very good. Absolutely beautiful. You know what? Hello. 
Lads, I mean area where they're doing, I don't know the English word for it, Safarin, it's a place, uh, Safarin. Uh, like anyway, they're just making this, uh, the jars uh, of uh, from aluminium, from, not aluminium, from uh, copper, copper or like reva, like I don't know, what, I don't know the proper name for it. Check this out, so authentic. <laughs> Amazing, absolutely stunning. completely different. In Spain the taste is in brine and here they're adding like different spices, different greens and different uh, vegetables on top. Mm. A bit spicy. Completely different taste than Spanish olives. Black Moroccan olives is a speciality of uh, this country. Uh, amazing stuff, just gonna try one. Um, this is so good. Yeah, there is no better black olives than the ones from here. So what else interesting you have uh, to actually show the subscribers? Interesting, something interesting, something unusual. <laughs> uh, this is lemon, yeah, marinated lemon. Yeah. Can I try a bit of lemon? Yes. Yeah? This is uh, marinated lemon. Uh, I've never tried this. Like they just chop the lemon and marinate it. So let's kick on. Mm. Mm. Very interesting. For certain type of food, like a greasy food, this is nice stuff. And it definitely something I haven't tried before. And uh, uh, yeah, intense taste, but it's not like a oh, lemony, lemony, like, yeah, you, you, it's lemon, but uh, yeah, very pleasant to eat, very pleasant to eat. Perhaps how to eat them? How, how to eat them? Just eat? Yeah? Uh, or you need to do something, put something inside? Uh -huh. Uh, what's the name of this stuff? Name? Name? Uh, in uh, in uh, in Arab? Uh, 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 um. Wow, lads are making them on this very weird looking heads as uh, from uh, from metal. And uh, the lady is uh, just uh, making olive oil, olive, uh, uh, olive oil, olive oil. Chicken, chicken, honey, ah, inside. You put it inside and then you cook it. 
Africa. Mm. Yeah, that looks amazing. Yeah, just uh, they're adding different fillings into them, and uh, it's olive oil. The dough is sucked in olive oil, so it's like a lot of oil of olive oil and dough mixed together. It's such such a cool thing. Uh, they look like this now, uh, cooked ones, cooked versions. They're not flat. They're kind of very wrinkly and interesting. So makes perfect for um, for filling. And uh, here we go. She just put the one on uh, on the heater on the heater in shape of human's head. <laughs> this is yeah. wow, such a cool thing, such a cool, cool way to cook uh, kerpes or like a pancakes. Wow, amazing. Check this out. This is just sheep's head, and they're cooked with fur and with everything. So pretty much it's just like a, you don't even clean that. Uh, and chicken is regular, looks normal, but this is just the looks so cool. <laughs> It's chicken with noodles, yeah. Yeah, I'm interested in this one. So I'm preparing this head for me. Uh, so I took half of the head, it's like two euro for the half of the head and uh, like four euro for whole head. So, yeah, looking, really looking forward to it. It looks so weird. So, because I initially thought it will be uh, clean without fur. Uh, but no, they just boil it. Everything is everything within, like forever, like a just chopped head down there. So, with all the juices. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's actually clean. Yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> great, great. So, how to eat it? Can you just with give bread. me some with bread. crash course? Bread. Bread with bread, yes. Uh -huh. And then do you have bread? Yes. We're just gonna take bread and uh, take chunks of meat out of the head. Okay, well, let's try it. Mm. Actually, very nice. Actually, mm, the meat is just uh, so juicy, falling apart. It has been cooking for uh, for ages, for uh, for many many hours, and um, meat is brilliant. It's very nice. Uh, a slight taste of the um, of the fur or just uh, like now sheep smell. Mm, not much. It's okay. It's okay. Bear. But uh, yeah, taste wise, it's very nice. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> you see, you're on the right spot, yeah? <laughs> you're the only one who has leather shoes in this city. Huh? Yeah, look, only one who has leather shoes yeah. in this city. Yes, he found it. He found it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah it definitely sure, does. <laughs> Yeah, Go with my cheese too now. You have calories. You have fresh fish calories. <laughs> You're from where? Thank you. From where, brother? Russia. Russia, yeah. nice yeah. to meet you. Are you already visiting? <laughs> yeah, I'm walking around. Yeah. <laughs> It is the pursuit of wonders that fuels our passion for life and drives us to explore the world around us. Expand your curiosity behind imagination on our Telegram channel. Let's check this out. I'm just uh, dropped into first, first uh, kind of place, and uh, guys are really making to the carpets here. Weaving, no carpets. Weaving, weaving, ah, weaving hand and the feet. And so we use the paper from this plant, cactus. All right, so this yes. is all made out yes. of cactus. Come, come. He puts it in front of the shovel here. Uh-huh. This is the shovel of cactus. All 
right. Wow. When you put shuttle under the hand, shuttle going back. Uh -huh. You change feet, open here and close. And touch the back. Thank you, thank you. Big yeah. my friend. It's amazing, yeah. Very kind of authentic. Carpets and cleaning. As I said, there is two balconies. Let's try the high ones, and after we take you to see another balcony to go. There's just four steps, same building, mm -hmm. same shopping. Okay, that's the best of you. Five star picture. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Here okay. you are. That's the biggest channel in Morocco and the famous in the oldest back to 14th century. This is this place, yeah. Yes. And this is biggest tannery here in Morocco. Uh, here yes, in the Morocco. The famous in the oldest, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just been restored a couple of years ago. So every day we buy the skin from the slaughterhouse. house. Slaughter house it's outside of the town. Meets go to the market, skin come to the tanners. The first stage the white section, the first the first process. There is first ammonia. is down there. Yes. Uh -huh. and, and then there is a limestone. Limestone and water is short. The limestone to get the wool in, to get the fur from the skin. Uh -huh. After that, we put them in pigeon dropping. Pigeon dropping has acid, ammoniac to make leather soft, and to uh -huh. stretch the leather, and to open the pores of the leather. Uh -huh. That's what this gives you smell. It's ammoniac, Smells. pigeon dropping. So, high and where, where do you get the pigeon dropping? Lots of young boys, they get lots of pigeons in the terrace, they got lots of cage of pigeons. So, the ah. pigeon dropping, when they be dry in a couple of days, they fit to the back and come salt for the tennis. Okay, okay. So for the workers who do work in the white packing, in the in the first process, they use, they use the protex, they wear gloves in a boat uh -huh. because the lime burn, uh, limestone okay. burn. After that, we move them to machine washing. Underground, there is washing yeah, machine, there, yeah. big wheel. Up the reservoir of the water, so we clean it to get pigeon dropping out and to get the lime sounds out. After that, we put them in a colors where we use all natural dye, all vegetables colors come from the plant, mm -hmm. from flower, from spices. So, as the red come from puppy flower, uh -huh. blue indigo, orange henna, green white mint, brown cedar wood, yellow saffron color that we draw it by hand. That happens usually up in the roof with saffron with purple granite skin with okay. oil, flower oils and with the draw it by hand. Same time we put them to dry and then the blankets like this, the color doesn't stick in ground. But it's very hard to drop. Yeah, That's see, what yeah, they see it's National job, yeah. Geography said that the second hard to drop in the wood, you know. So mm -hmm. that the process the process takes take us 20 days from the beginning to the end. 20 days. Clay. And how you get rid of the smell? The smell, it comes from pigeon dropping. And it's gone yes, after drying? Yes, yes, after drying, the skin gone. never gives smell. The skin never gives smell. That, smell. Uh -huh. That's what you smell, it's ammoniac. That's mm -hmm. lamp skin, that's especially to do leather jacket with. You know how we know quality of the skin? Look, fireproof, waterproof. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. no burn, nothing, sir. All... Yeah. Just to check quality, you just need exactly, to burn it. Exactly, yeah. yes. Camel is Cal very rough. Very rough. Yes, rough. Very exactly. Rough. There is another small tannery. Look at it. A baby tannery. Uh -huh. And uh, how many tanneries like this in... Uh, in Fez, Fez, we get three tanneries. But this is the biggest and the famous. Showara tannery. We get two smallest from the other size. Most amazing part of the story for me personally is that now 2022 they're still using all natural process for example the first part ammonia they could easily buy ammonia from in jars from chemical factory i'm outside medina it's kind of old walls like this just gonna explore a bit and see what is what's in there but it looks like there's a graveyard massive graveyard outside from here you can see whole Medina the center of the city like from the hill and it looks amazing it's so cool especially now in a sunset it's a sunset it's kind of very very beautiful like amazing place
that this is just the one of the entrance entrances and uh, I just came here in the evening so just want to show you how it looks in the evening very good <laughs> That's another thing to try, it's just a local sweet. Uh, this is most popular here, yeah? As I understood, like this is kind of local fest or this is a kind of generic Grimsh. or Grimsh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. With the uh, honey with the sesame. This one peanut inside. This one almond inside. Mm-hmm. Uh code with dates inside. This one dates the almond. Uh -huh. uh, with the honey with the inside. This one, the peanuts inside. So, are they the same price or they're all different price? All the same price. One kilo mix, 160. So that's this all around 20 drum. It's uh, around two euro, yeah. Two to each. Two, two and a half euro. So great, man. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lads. I'm in hostel in. Um, in attics on the, on the rooftop just gonna get myself a nice cup of tea and uh, try the sweets this is uh, the fast staple so mm -hmm. yeah it's kind of general though mm -hmm. a bit dry with uh, quite a lot of honey and sesame seeds so nice slight crunch from sesame seeds and um, the rest of it it's just nice and normal yeah sweet very sweet mm. I want to drink something interesting thing is they do here eat sweets a lot and they don't drink tea they just take a sweets sit out the, sit down at the table and eat them um, how they do it i have no idea because this stuff is so sweet you want to drink something mm, but they don't they eat them as kind of standalone product that you, you eat as it is 